Hello everyone and happy Monday. I'm Allison with Green Gars Plants and Seeds and welcome to another garden chat. So today what I thought we would do is experiment a little bit with the zucchini plants. So I came across an article um, on pruning and training or staking your zucchini plants. Now I've heard of people pruning their zucchini plants to open up the plants to make to create more airflow to reduce um, disease like the powdery mildew is always always rampant with with the, um, the zucchini so we thought we had some extra stakes some extra bamboo states left over from the tomatoes and so what I thought I would do is use those to experiment so I'll just show you here. So I've got some stakes in here with them. The plants are kind of small yet. So, um, and so what I've done is I've kind of tried to prune off some of the lower leaves that already kind of looked like they were gonna die. <laughs> and then I put a stake in them, in the plant. And so what I've done, I don't know if you can see here, as you know, um, like the zucchini plants are bush plants, and so they don't sprawl the same way that pumpkins do, but they do get kind of a tall stem, and that will lay on the ground normally. So I can see we're staking them, and they're kind of leaning up against the post there. And what it's supposed to do is kind of keep the plant up off the soil, keep the fruit up off the soil so it's cleaner. It opens up the plant to increase the airflow in and around which helps to reduce um, disease so we've got a few different varieties so I just thought I would experiment a little bit so this first row um, is the black beauties um, most of the second row is black beauties as well um, the post weight there's some at the end of the second row that are the spineless beauties those ones seem a little bit more squat at the moment. I don't know if staking them will be a benefit, but we'll see what happens. And then I've just got the last few bamboo stakes in here with some of the yellow, the yellow zucchini. So this, most of this row is the gold rush. Um, at the end of this row, we have some of the yellow fin. And then this last final row is golden zucchini. So. I'm still in the process of pruning off the golden zucchinis. Like you can see some of there's some yellowing on the leaves. So I'll still need to go through those and prune them off, but we thought we'd experiment and see what, what happens. See if there's a difference between the ones that were pruned and staked and the ones that weren't. See if there's a difference in uh, the level of production or the ease of harvest and just kinda kinda document that and you know, going forward, if, if it makes a huge difference, then, you know, we'll probably continue with it. I mean, I'll probably prune all of the plants, or at least attempt to continue to prune all the plants. I know, I know you know, sometimes we have these grand ideas, and then halfway through the, through the summer, stuff happens, you get busy, and it kind of goes out the window. <laughs> so that's what I'm kind of doing today. That's what I'm doing now. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you were the pumpkins. All right, so this is our pumpkin patch. Um, it's looking, it looks a little bit sparse at the moment, but the plants are actually starting to really take off. And I noticed this this morning when I came out with my tea for my morning garden walk. We've got a blossom happening. And I think I did spy some other flowers over here. So that first blossom is the Connecticut field pumpkin. And then this patch over here, these are the pie pumpkins. So yeah, there's another flower there coming. So they're all starting to take off. We had a little bit of rain. We've got a nice hot day now, the sun's shining. I think Glenn said he was going to go get some water for the tonight and give everything a good drink. Uh, I think it is supposed to be fairly decent weather for the rest of the week. So it should be good, and that's that's what we need. We need that heat and the rain all combined. We'll will we'll create a really good 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 garden. Like everything is everything is starting to take off. So that's that's what we want. 
So that's, that's what my day is shaping up to be like. It's, it's going to be a beautiful day. We still have a few things we have to do. So, you know, it's when you're, when you're gardening, you have to be open-minded. You have to be, you have to be teachable, right? And that's, that's kind of why we're experimenting with the zucchini, you know? You have, you have to be willing to do things like that. You have to be willing to try new things. That's kind of, kind of what makes gun gardening fun and interesting and it keeps your mind and your interest engaged, you know? I mean, I've been gardening most of my adult life, but I'm not an expert. I'm no, there's no hell, no way I'm an expert. There's far too much information out there and far too many things still to know and to learn. You know, and, and even if, if our experiment with the zucchini fails, you know what, we still learn something, right? And that's what it's all about, is learning something, learning something new, learning something valuable, right? So, anyway, that, that's my day. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday, and I hope you have a wonderful week coming up. And so until next time, you take care.